Hi guys, welcome back. This is an update for the OnePlus 3T users. So there is a new update for the Oxygen S 4.0.2. So previously it was 4.0.1. So this update brings uh, just some couple of major fixes, I will say. The first important feature was uh, that Play Store was not working. Now that feature was working now. So it's kind of great, but a lot of users were reported that and for some it is working, for some it is not. And uh, the same was also in the OnePlus 3. So OnePlus 3 also has got the same update. So they have got the same set of bug fixes, nothing new. And also we will see how you can install that kind of experiences that I have got installation. So for more details, uh, you have a pre-installed OnePlus 3T, OnePlus community app. You can go and check out there what kind of new features are there. So this is first post is here for that order through OT for OnePlus this is the same actually one plus three and you can go and check out the same for the one plus three t this is the one actually firstly this came for the one plus three t so right here you can see uh, these are the new android nougat feature in case you are coming from the marshmallow the important fix was the two one here the fixed proximity sensor bug during calls so if you receive any call you might have noticed that uh, your screen is not getting turned off so we will take a look here whether it is fixed or not the next is the play store bug so if you're trying to download any application it was not working but it is working perfectly i have just installed some couple of the apps here you can see all the geek stuff so we'll check out some details like how much the score was there anyway guys let's get started first off uh, i was on the open beta 1 before installing this official oxygen 4.0.2 so everything was working fine i had rooted device and i installed the 12 latest 3.0.3 beta 1 because with the 3.0.3 12, there was a password issue. A lot of people were getting like, if they're trying to mount the internal storage, it was not mounting for me too. So I have installed the beta one. Already I have tweeted that too. So some people have downloaded it. For them, it is working fine. But I used to install this update. Since the only way to go from the beta update to the official is via the ADB sideload. Otherwise, nothing will work if you try to install with any applications like uh, package loading or so many stuff I tried to set not working. I use the ADB side load. I went inside the tour inside the setting. Uh, you will get ADB side load. Then you can successfully do the ADB side load as you can see on the screen. I did that and it was installed perfectly. But when I try to reboot my device, uh, it took near to eight to nine minutes. Nothing happened. It was just looping inside the OnePlus logo. And the same I found for the OnePlus 3. I did mention there too. So some guys has commented that it was due to the Super SU. You haven't installed Super SU. Uh, I'm sure that may be the reason, but I'm not 100% sure because I'm trying to install the same way always. I did the similar way. It will be siloed, but. Eventually, when I was trying to go, uh, I thought to go inside the recovery, thought to wipe again and I did that but again it was asking for password so I installed the OnePlus 3T stock recovery. Then again I went inside the recovery, it was asking for the password. Already I have created a OnePlus. So anyway guys, these are the things that you may face or may not face. But in case you may face, so uh, try to get ready for that. Take complete data backup in case you are an open beta build and trying to move to the uh, in your uh, official one so uh, stick to the open beta it is fine otherwise if there is no issue so try to be there all right so here we go so uh, first we'll check some downloading application so play store is taking time i don't know why so here it comes uh, let's download this first star let's see it is downloading perfectly yep we are able to download, it's downloading fine. It's going great, not a problem. Now we'll try to see whether the proximity sensor bug was fixed or not. So let me just check my cellular network. So I'm just going to make a call here. So you guys wait, I'm just going to dial from here. So I'm getting called perfectly. I'm just going to answer it and let's see. Yep, we are able to you know, turn on the display. So proximity sensor is pretty much working fine. And yeah, there is one more known issue. So we did see that Wi-Fi was having some issues. So it was mentioned here clearly. No issues and fixes. We have Wi-Fi connectivity might still fluctuate. So we did saw that sometimes it's not downloading. So close app, try again in case it's not working. Now guys, it's time to compare the benchmarking score. So I've got two devices here. This is OnePlus 3T, OnePlus 3. So I'm just going to show you a result. So just tell you again, 
Both of these devices are completely resetted today. Uh, since I was on the open beta one, I had to come back here only way was ADB sideload and something happened during this compression So I had to reset completely so have you can see this nothing else is stalled just completely Even though they have got the same set of applications. I guess just I have installed nt2 and the geek right here. You can see So three set of applications completely and they are already on the same version of the Android 4.0.2 so let's get started and see because i'm going to show you here great results so this is one plus three this is one plus three so take a look at the scores i know if you run it again you will get definitely a different result but this is what i got first time i ran it so i'm not going to run it again i know one plus three is faster i'm not in the side of one plus three i just got this code just thought to show you guys here now this is time again to check the geek benchmark so take a look at the multi-core for the one plus three this is 3t so you got a pretty great score on the OnePlus. Not too much great, but yeah, it's almost comparable to what we have here. So guys, in case you have OnePlus 3s and if you might be thinking like we are being cheated, 3D came and it was so faster. Not that much faster. I'm using both devices day to day. So they are working pretty great. So even though guys, that's it for this benchmarking scores. So that's it guys for this video. Just summarizing again, in case you are in open beta builds for the OnePlus 3T. So take complete backup in case you're going to do any Android shit. Please take backup because anything can happen. It's never guaranteed like applications can break and broke. All right. So you have to install via ADB sideload, otherwise in case you have no problem. So officially there is not much difference compared to the beta one and the official 4.0.2. So they are almost same, but beta has a slight bit of minor tweaks extra. So you may be sticking to the beta in case it is working fine. So that's it for this video. This is Saurabh. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day.